tough day of cricket for the West Indies women's captain Hayley Matthews, the star player falling for a duck after conceding 21 runs in two wicketless overs. However, her Mumbai Indians team still came out victorious, beating the Delhi Capitals by six wickets in a last ball thriller to start the 2024 edition of the Women's Premier League, India's uh, female T20 franchise, which is live daily on Sportsmax. The Delhi Capitals batted first and posted 171 for five. Alice Capps is 75 and Jamima Rodriguez, 42, led the scoring against Natalie Shiva Brunt, two for 33, and Amelia Carr with two for 43. Mumbai Indians got to their target off the last ball, reaching 173 for six. Yastika Bhatia, top scored with 57, Captain Harman Preet Kaur, Produced a player of the match 55 from 34 deliveries to propel her team across the line. Let's hear from both camps now. They got extremely well early. They hit a tough length and kept it pretty straight, which is sort of what was effective on this wicket. Um, but as, as we saw, when you hit through the line and were able to pick the gaps, it, it ran pretty freely. So generally, it was, it was pretty good for batting. It was tough for bowlers and tough to defend. But I thought uh, Mumbai bowled extremely well, particularly up front, which probably was the difference in the end. I would have loved the a few more, um, you always say that, but uh, we certainly felt like we we could get the job done. I thought we fought really well towards the end uh, to sort of take it to that last ball, but unfortunately just not to be today. Nice to be on the right side there and for SS to go out there and hit a six first ball was unbelievable. First game for Mumbai, so pretty awesome feeling for the team and for her and just, you know, cricket, it can go either way and it's just we're on the right side tonight. All in all, it was a good wicket, fast outfield with a short boundary, so it was about giving us a chance and batting as deep as possible and I thought we did that well and set up a platform with Yusti up top and then Harmon so um, we kind of thought at the back end if we can go at 10s with wickets in hand we, get, hand we give ourselves a chance. Yeah Mumbai starting like the champions they are they were threatened they were tested and they came out on top the WPL continue on Saturday on Sportsmax with Royal Challengers Bangalore and uh, they have this early game against the Warriors starting at 9 o'clock Jamaica time, 10 o'clock Eastern Caribbean time. And you can watch on Sportsmax Cricket on the app as well. Hurry over to download the Sportsmax app today. Um, it's pretty easy to do that. And um, I, I'm pretty sure most of our viewers have already downloaded the Sportsmax app. But what a way to start yeah. the WPL, Mariah. You were waiting all week for the start. And I, I guess you were satisfied with what you got this morning. Yeah, from the opening ceremony, which was live on Sportsmax right until the last ball, because um, it started with a lot of Bollywood stars. They had like dancing performances. Um, the king of Bollywood, Shah Rukh Khan, somebody I grew up watching and I still watch his movies up to now. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of home whenever I feel homesick. Um, he performed and he also did the introduction with all the girls. So they were seen in this light as queens coming on the stage and they were, he was speaking about queens from Queendom and they all came on. Harman Preet Kaur came on with the trophy from last year. For me, it was just a beautiful opening event. And if that was beauty, then the match itself, I can't find words to describe because Delhi Capitals, of course, lost the toss. So they were put into bat. We had the top performances from Alice Capsi, who got 75 from 53 balls, and Jemima Rodriguez with that 42. And initially, I was a bit worried, Lance, because I felt as if this score would be difficult for Mumbai Indians to chase down. And it started to look like that, coming down to the end of the batting performances by Mumbai Indians. Have to say kudos to Shabnim Ishmael, that first um, wicket that she got, one for one. I did say at the start of the tournament that she is one of my favorite bowlers. So she went on there with a lot of confidence, happiness, excitement, and she was able to get that wicket and just start the Mumbai Indians on in a really, really positive light. It came down to the end where, of course, they needed to get um, five runs. It was five runs? Four runs mm -hmm. in, that one, in that last over. And of course, that six from Sanjana Ricardo was just top class. And for me, that's why Mumbai Indians are defending champions because they are so good at what they do. It's unfortunate that we didn't get any runs from our skipper, Haley Matthews. But that's OK. It's just one game and we have a lot more games to go. And I know Haley will, of course, reflect on that dismissal today and come back stronger. Yeah, I think a thoroughly enjoyable cricket match, right? And I think the quality of it was good as well. As Mariah pointed out, disappointing for Hayley Matthews that she didn't get away. I thought had a horrible match, actually. Had a misfield out at the extra cover position. Um, two overs for 21 runs, one going for 19. 
and then out second ball without scoring. So a really difficult day for the West Indies captain. Um, Mumbai Indians also not very good in the field, Lance and Mariah, um, put down, I think, at least three chances. And they yeah. were just not as clinical with their performance out in the field. And with the early dismissal of Matthews, not starting well with the bat either. But they were able to pull it together. The captain, Ormond Preet Kaur, was really good, um, showing her absolute quality with that. Mm -hmm. 55 from 34 deliveries and, and played some really world-class cricket shots. So I was especially impressed with Batia, though, because yeah. I thought her stroke-making was so Indian, um, if I can say that. <laughs> so much class. Um, in the way she played. She drove the ball beautifully through the offside as well um, early in the innings. And if she needed to go over the top, she did that with some level of ease. So it was a very good cricket match. And um, if this is what we can expect from the Women's Premier League, then I think we're in for quite a tournament. Yeah, I'm hoping that Hayley Matthews' non-firing today had nothing to do with Sports Max Zone having her up well after midnight a couple of nights ago. Oh. I'm sure it doesn't have oh, I, anything I, I, to I, do with... I'm not with... thinking so, but I'm just putting it out there. No? <laughs> why did you put it out there? I don't know why Lance would put something like that out there any at all. Um, but, but, you know, it's the first match of, of, of the tournament. Um, this is not a bad delivery. It's a delivery that is just moving away from her. She didn't get to the pitch of the ball. You're chasing 174. That's the way Haley plays. She likes to go hard early. A lot of times it comes off, sometimes it doesn't, and it didn't today. Um, I must admit, though, that I was a little bit surprised that Matthews did not bowl in the power play. You're talking about the MVP of the last tournament. She took 16 wickets, um, leading um, wicket-taking last year. And then for the first match of this campaign, I thought they would have tried to get her in the game early. She did not bowl in the power play. I found that extremely surprising. And sometimes, I'm not using this as an excuse, Lance and Murray, but sometimes as a cricketer, when you are accustomed to being involved in what is happening early and you have to sit out there in the field, or well, not necessarily sit, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about, yeah, where you're not <laughs> active with the ball, when you're accustomed to doing that, um, sometimes you can get a little cold and sometimes you can get, I, I want to say, demotivated. And I, I'm not using it as an excuse, but it yeah. was a surprise to me that she did not bowl in the power play any at all. Well, as Mariah pointed out earlier on, it's only the first game and uh, Haley is a quality player. We saw her performances in the WPA last year, which uh, contributed significantly to the Mumbai Indians winning. And uh, she has that resilience about her. And I fully expect her to rebound and uh, play much better in the coming games, for yeah. sure. I actually think this will motivate her, the fact that she didn't get yes. off to any runs today. I think she's going to sit back, she's going to reflect, and we're going to expect some big scores from her. Remember, there's match to tomorrow, Lance. I can't wait for tomorrow as well, because RCB, a yeah. couple of my favorite players too, especially yeah. Shrianka Patil. Yes. So I want to see how that one goes That's as well. 10 o'clock Eastern Caribbean time, 9 o'clock in Jamaica. Match two in the WPL. And it's only on the Sportsmax app, that Sportsmax cricket. You yeah. can't see those match. well, the weekend's matches Saturday and Sunday on Sportsmax. You have to go to the Sportsmax app and yeah. watch it on Sportsmax Cricket.